So the most important thing the legislature does every year, obviously, is set a budget. Not determine what the state amphibian is going to be or do diaper need awareness, set a budget. I think that conversation should be had earlier than they're actually having it. And so we're going to try to start the conversation now with a budget that the Idaho Freedom Foundation is unveiling today. That budget would give Idahoans at least $100 million in tax relief and as much as $200 million in tax relief. Lawmakers must work diligently to restrain spending and pass conservative budgets for their state agencies, and that's what I'm asking them to do this next session. If they do that, they can provide big, positive impacts on people and businesses here in Idaho. What we're talking about is imagine the residents of Idaho having more money to pay for food on their table or college education or having business owners invest more in personnel and in equipment in their businesses. When lawmakers meet in January, they'll have a huge opportunity ahead of them. They can lower the income tax. They could get rid of the tax on groceries. They can further make cuts to the personal property tax. In short, the budget we've outlined today sets the stage for those dramatic reductions in taxes, reductions that are good for Idaho, good for the entire state, and also reductions that are affordable. Our budget would increase state spending by just 2.6 percent. For most of state government, we're asking lawmakers to hold the line on the number of new employees. We're not imposing a hard and fast hiring freeze. We're just saying whenever you have a budget proposal that purports to increase the number of state employees, it ought to get a little closer scrutiny. For public schools and colleges and universities, our budget increases spending by about 4.7 percent. It includes a 3.5 percent increase in discretionary funds for public schools. It includes a 1 percent increase in payroll for state employees, fully funds the increase in expenses for uh, state employee benefits. It also provides $31 million in general fund support for highways and bridges, and it also phases out Idaho's experiment with single-payer health care, the CAT program, and replaces it with a pilot community health care program that would provide services to people who are in the so-called GAP population. Finally, the budget we're proposing allocates $5 million to replace some of the federal grants that we get with state dollars. We should not leave our citizens vulnerable to the whims of Washington, D.C., especially for programs that are critical to the well-being of our state citizens. After raising taxes on Idahoans by $95 million, they deserve at least $100 million in tax relief in the coming year. And if lawmakers write and pass conservative, smart budgets, they'll have an opportunity to cut taxes by more than that, $100 million, or as much as $200 million, and we're hoping that will be the goal for lawmakers in the coming months. The budget we're putting out today is a starting point. We'd like to see a month-long conversation, even before the governor releases his budget in January, on what the state's priorities are and how to get there. The priority should be providing tax relief to Idahoans, adequately funding state services, and doing what's right for Idaho in a way that's conservative and fiscally responsible. That's all. With that, I'd be happy to answer questions. Pardon me? Oh, I, that's not my thing. I, but here's the deal. There's not enough discussion. The only thing the legislature has to do every year is pass a budget. And for some reason, we've decided over the last number of years that we just don't have a conversation at all about the budget until roughly the time the legislature comes to town. I'm saying let's have a, an earlier discussion. We've taken all the budget requests that have been put, in, in, put before um, uh, the governor's office, the Division of Financial Management, examined every one of them and created a budget. And I think if we have a much more detailed conversation, we'll be able to receive a budget that's much more physical, fiscally responsible and fiscally conservative. I don't want to run for governor. This is much more fun. Anyway, you have in that packet uh, all the information. If you have questions about it, happy to provide you more details. But, um, 
we also have, um, um, did you provide the spreadsheet? Is, okay. Okay, yeah, so there's a spreadsheet that has all the background information about how we arrived where we get to. Go to your other stuff.